All right, so here is how to find Logix Pro. First, you'll need to go to www.thelearningpit.com. And then once you're here, the second link down is to Logix Pro. Click on that, and then you can download now. And it just downloads a file. Now I'm going to go back, and if you go to purchasing info, this is $35 if you buy this. It's not very expensive. You can either get this or they may, may still offer a disc that you can order, but I think it's actually more expensive than getting the copy to your computer. So let's close this so we can see what it looks like now. So after you install it, it'll look like this little red, yellow, blue, green circle thing. You open it up, and it'll pop up with a code that you need to enter. Now, for the first 15 days, it has a trial mode. And the trial mode works great, except for you can't save the files. So if you're using the trial mode, um, you're just going to have to save as a picture for me. The first one will be easy to see, because it's easy to understand the wrongs. But after that, it's going to be hard to test the function. Now, to show you where these things are, if you go Simulations and... IO Simulator, oh you have a little helper over here, you can look and see here's your IO port, here's your output port of the IO, and you can change the button types by right mouse clicking on them. There we go, normally close, normally open, momentary, and then there's your output. Oh, we can change the color over here. Now, just a basic thing, we've got, we can add a new rung, branch rung, examine if closed. Let's add a new rung, and what we're going to do is make the momentary switch turn on that output. So we need to look at examine if closed, and we need to out energize an output. We need to put values to these. Now I know that I can drag the value up into it, or you can double click on the question mark and type it in. We want output colon two because it's output colon two slash zero. There we go. Now we can download and run. And let's try it out. We push the button. Hey, our light comes on. So it works. Now, the first project you're working on, if you go to help and student exercises, is this relay logic introductory. And so basically, you're just going to use these buttons, and that's almost exactly what we did right there, to turn on an output. Now, there's some other functions you can do here. You're actually sealing in. Uh, yeah, you're sealing something in there. Now, play with this and try it out. Um, another thing that I want to show you is you can actually... Oh, we have to take it offline program. You can actually label what this is, and this could be on button. And documentation is very important. You can also document the rung itself. Starting system. So, and that's all I have.